This real estate market is starting to get real crazy lately. Interest rates are now over 5%. That's right, they're averaging over 5% for mortgages now. That's as high as it was back in 2009 under the recession days. There's a lot of uncertainty going on in the real estate market and a lot of people are asking me questions like, should you buy now or should you wait? Is the real estate market going to crash? And if so, when is it gonna happen? I mean, man. So today I'm gonna to break down everything I've been seeing in the real estate market so far, and we're gonna look at some stats to see if we can get a better handle on what's going on with the real estate market so we can make better decisions for the future. Let's start off with the interest rates or the mortgage rates. Like I said earlier, interest rates are now averaging over 5%. According to the Mortgage Bankers Association, the average mortgage rate as of last week was 5.37%. That's right, the days of 4% interest rates are pretty much gone. And of course, they're predicting even more raises in interest rates before the end of the year. Does that mean that we can make it to 6% by 2023? To add even more fuel to the fire, the Mortgage Bankers Association released a report saying that the applications for mortgages actually dropped 8% from last week. In other words, there are less buyers that are out there applying for homes. In other words, there are less buyers out there applying for homes and the buyer demand for homes is starting to drop. I believe the reason for this drop in mortgage applications is pretty obvious. It's because the interest rates or the mortgage rates have risen so less people can now afford to buy a home. That's not the most interesting thing I read though. The most interesting part of this report was the part I saw that said that more people are now applying for adjustable rate mortgages or ARMS. Adjustable rate mortgages are mortgages where the interest rate actually adjusts over the period of loan. So normally it'll start out with a lower interest rate for a set period of time, like around seven or five years, for example. And then after that, the interest rate will change. Back in the old days before the recession, people were getting these adjustable rate mortgages. And then once that first time period was up, the rate would increase to a point where people can no longer afford to pay their mortgages, hence a lot of foreclosures, and then boom, the recession. I actually find it interesting now that these mortgages are actually starting to come back into popularity because people are having a hard time affording their traditional loan. So it's definitely something we need to watch out for in the future to see if these adjustable rate mortgages start coming even more popular again. All right, so far we see that the interest rates have risen over 5%, the highest since the recession back in 2009. We see that mortgage applications are starting to drop. And on top of that, we see that people are now resorting to more adjustable rate mortgages, which they haven't been doing since before the recession. What does all of this mean? I mean, this all sounds like bad news so far. Let's take a look at some of the stats in my real estate market, which is the Chicagoland area, to see how home sales are actually doing. Okay, so here are the stats for the Chicagoland area. So if we take a look at the homes for sale, we can actually see that there has been a steady decline in actual homes for sale over the past three years, which we already pretty much know because the home inventory has been steadily decreasing, so there just aren't a lot of homes for sale out there, especially when compared to previous years. Now let's take a look at the number of new listings that are coming on the market. And yeah, there was a little dip back in 2021. They normally bottoms out around February and starts to come back up during the hotter months of the year, the summer months like June and July. So right now, of course, we're in the downward slope. So as of April, the number of new listings has been declining, but we'll have to wait to see until the summer months to see if it actually goes back up like it normally does. So that's something that we have to keep an eye out for. Let's take a look at the number of closed sales so we can see how many homes have actually sold. So if we take a look at this, these are the number of homes that have sold in the previous months, and we can see it was on the rise till about June or July when it started to plateau. But as of recently, as of April, it has actually started to decline. So that's something we need to keep an eye out for. Uh, the, apparently, the number of homes that have sold is starting to go down. 
let's take a look at the market time now so we can see how long these homes are staying on the market and we can see that there's been a steady decline in the market time or the average time it takes for a home to sell so homes are still selling pretty fast and are selling faster and faster so as far as the buyer demand it still looks like it's pretty strong homes are still selling at a fast pace now here's the real thing we need to pay attention to which is the average sales price for homes in the chicagoland area and as we can see there's been a steady trend upwards i haven't seen any decline as of now so that means that home prices are still increasing even through everything that's happening the rising interest rates and the war and covid and everything else home prices are still increasing which means once again the buyer demand is still pretty strong so to sum all of that up it looks like the actual number of homes that are sold is starting to decline but the average home price is still rising and buyer demand is still high there are still a lot of buyers out there looking to buy homes and there are still most likely more buyers than there are homes for sale i know there is all this news about the real estate market is crashing and since interest rates are rising you know home prices are doomed to fall and as of right now that's not happening even with interest rates rising the average home price is still also rising so in other words the buyer demand is still so strong that even though interest rates and mortgage rates have gone up they still are looking to buy homes and there aren't enough homes out there to satisfy demand that's why home prices are still rising now for the more important question should you be buying real estate in today's market or should you be waiting to see what happens or to see if the market will crash and prices will drop as an investor i don't think your answer to that change is based on the condition of today's real estate market so in other words if you find a piece of property or you find some real estate and once you analyze it you think that it's a good deal then by all means you should be going after it on the other hand if you find some real estate and you're betting that maybe due to the real estate conditions five or ten years from now it'll be a deal then that'll make that deal a little bit more riskier and you need to put some more thought into whether you should be buying that property now or not because you don't know what's going to happen in the future for the average home buyer or maybe first time home buyer should you be buying a home now well in my opinion it all depends on your motivation for buying a home if you have some sort of pressing need that's causing you to want to move now such as maybe a change in jobs or you need more space for your family or anything like that then you have to weigh the option of getting your home now and paying into these high prices versus waiting with the conditions you have now and hoping that prices will decrease in the future because remember there's always the chance that the market doesn't crash and home prices keep going up as a home buyer you really need to weigh the option of staying where you are now and living in your present condition versus buying a home now you have to really think about how motivated you are to buy a home and if it's worth it to you or not for some people it is for some people it isn't all right guys enough playing around i'm sure you want to know whether i think the real estate market is going to crash in the near future or not well here's my opinion and once again i stress my opinion right now what's going on in the real estate market is really just more of a case of supply and demand right now the demand of homes is so high that the home prices are going to keep rising because the supply of homes is so low the reason that the mortgage rates are increasing is because home prices have been going sky high so the government is looking for a way to slow that down once the interest rates go up the buyer demand is going to slow down which is what we're seeing happening right now because of the decrease in mortgage applications what i think is going to happen in the near future is that home prices are going to keep rising until there's no longer a demand for it then home prices are going to simply bottom out I don't think the market is actually going to crash at least not from anything i'm seeing right now for those of you who are waiting for the market to crash so you can go bargain shopping and snatch up homes at a good price you have to remember that if you wait in the future interest rates and mortgage rates are going to rise so that means that unless you're buying a home in cash it's going to be more expensive for you to finance a home so you won't be able to afford as much of a home as you would be able to compare it to right now so while home prices may drop a little interest rates are going to rise so it's pretty much going to offset 
unless something else drastic happens in the future that cause the real estate markets to crash, then you're pretty much going to be at the same position that you are now as far as buying power. All right, guys, that was my video on what's going on in the real estate market today. Any questions for me, please feel free to reach out to me either through the comment section below or through my website, which is baileyacresproperties.com. My name is Rob Bailey, realtor and investor in the Chicagoland area with Arnie Realty Inc. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.